And now, your local forecast with meteorologist Carrie Capella. All right, welcome back. That was Ms. Gurley's class from Pearson Elementary. Those are some third graders that I got to meet last week. And they want to know what the weather's like, and I'm sure so do you. Taking a look today at the Almanac High of 90 degrees, about where we should be for both the high and the low, only a couple degrees off. Record of 103 set back in 1954, and a record low of 63 degrees set back in 1983. No rain to add to the rain gauge, but there are some chances this upcoming week well, we could add some on then. Today's highs elsewhere across the state, 91 in Macon and in Savannah, 90 for here in Albany, Columbus, and in Augusta, the coolest place on the map today. Up in Rome, Georgia, 84 degrees outside there. Today's highs elsewhere across the nation, 80 degrees in New Orleans, 70 degrees, 10 degrees cooler up in Boston, Massachusetts, and then still in the triple-digit heat for both Las Vegas and Phoenix. Otherwise, everybody's out, everybody else is in the lower 90s and mid-80s for the most part, up to the north a little bit cooler in the 70s. U.S. satellite and radar shows a bit of a quiet evening for those in the northern plains. We are seeing some clouds and showery activity starting to push towards the east and southeast. That is associated with a frontal system that is in place sitting across the whole southern part, portion of the United States. Satellite radar for us, though, clouds on top of us off to our west, though. Look, we do have some showers and storms that are starting to work their way into the area. They'll kind of pass through the overnight tonight into tomorrow morning as we're off the church. This is Futurecast. Low pressure was on top of us. We do have a frontal system in place, and that's going to bring us a better chance for showers and storms through the day tomorrow and into the evening hours as well. We'll start to dry things out through the overnight hours into Sunday and Monday, and then as we get on the bus to go off to school, there may be a few chances for some scattered showers and storms, but that low pressure with a cold front in place is going to continue to push towards the southeast, and that's going to bring us greater chances through Monday evening into Tuesday and even into Wednesday. Looking at tonight, though, mostly cloudy skies, a slight chance of showers for the overnight, 30% chance, 74 degrees for the overnight low with a southwest wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. And into tomorrow, much of the same as today, we're going to see chances of showers and storms, but they should roll in a lot quicker than they did this evening. 90 degrees for your expected high tomorrow. Monday, plenty of clouds on top of us, 87 degrees for your high with a 60% chance of showers and storms into Tuesday and Wednesday. Look at this. The rest of the week, really, we're going to see much of the same. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s through Wednesday, and then we're going to soar right back up into the 90s to finish off the week and start off the weekend once again, Ashley. So if you are out and about, make sure you've got plenty of hairspray, an umbrella, <laughs> Maybe galoshes if you like to wear those. Is this Rain my own work? personal weather cast here? Apparently, you get a personal one. <laughs> Everybody else in Southwest Georgia should probably follow the same, you know, checklist as they're leaving the door to go off to school or off to work. And just, you know, enjoy life. All right. Just enjoy life. Yeah. Simple as that. If you need some rain, we'll take it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Carrie. No problem.